This build challenge terrifies me, in the best way possible, of course. This was uploaded onto the gallery under the hashtag TryMeSid by AudioIT, and oh my god. We are in trouble. Here are the rules. So basically, you can see all of these lines here. What I have to do is move these around and connect them somehow so that I can build a house. I have to use all of these lines. Let's say I wanted to combine this onto the wall and poof, it's freaking gone. I can't do that. I want to, but I can't. We have to make sure all of these are visible and present on our build. I am building in Sulani because I think it would be really fun if we could somehow do like an underwater house. I haven't done one in a while and I think they look really pretty so I'm kind of debating. We'll see what our shell ends up looking like. I think I'm gonna try and go like room by room. So I'm taking these like tiny singular wall pieces and we're just gonna connect them on there and once I finish a room I think I'm gonna have to go in with my actual like oh god room tool just like barrier it off otherwise we won't have a ceiling. Okay so there's one room. I kind of want to do like a bump out. Let's bring all of these little little ones over. I feel like I might be screwing myself actually by using all of these like little guys right off the bat because I do have some tricky angles to work with in here. Like this like V shape one like that is a very sharp angle. <laughs> and whether I like it or not we are gonna have to use diagonals in this build as well. Okay there was another room. I'm gonna attempt to start using these angles. Let's get a big one and just like kind of have it come off like that way. I can rotate that one so that it sections off there. I don't know how big I should make this. Diagonal rooms are always such an illusion. They look bigger because of like the angle of it, but like that's only three tile and look how much bigger they look. Okay, I think I'm gonna close off this back part. Whatever we end up doing, this is gonna be floor number one. So there is our first floor taken care of. I think I wanna do a second floor, but I don't want it to be too high. Maybe we'll just do like this wall along the back. And when we roof it, it's only gonna be like half of the house on the second floor. In my head, this looks good. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. This is another one like the other day I did that left to right challenge and it was really hard to visualize obviously. This is another one of those where I'm like I think I know where I'm headed with this but honestly it's a mixed bag at this point. <laughs> All right let's uh room that part off okay and this is what our shell is looking like as of now. If I want to do an underwater house we're gonna have to have a basement level. I think I should start working on that and I haven't used any of these bad angle pieces yet. Okay let's go down to the basement floor. Actually no here's what I'm gonna do to make this easier. Instead of like paging down every five seconds and placing one wall, I think what I'm gonna do is make my room above ground and then we'll just bring it down. It's really funny seeing how the thought process really changes on these build challenges, I swear. We change up so fast. I'm like trying to mimic the shape of the build so that it's like kind of directly below like our above ground part, but it's not going so well so far. That doesn't look the same at all. Okay, this is where we're gonna run into some issues. I'm gonna bring this piece over here. Oh, another hard thing that I'm, I'm noticing, like obviously when I'm moving my pieces, they're not stuck together. When I move this wall, for example, I need to make sure that I bring the other piece with it. I'm sorry, guys. EA just is not on our level when it comes to these challenges. EA is not challenge friendly. To be fair, honestly, they're probably protecting me at this point. They're like, stop doing these challenges. For the love of God, please stop. Never. What the heck? F for how I feel. This is all fun and games, but I'm realizing that I need to like close this off so Somehow. So let's maybe start working on that. Okay, so we're gonna go on a diagonal here. Ew, that's terrible. That's awful. <laughs> I'm also realizing that I kind of can't go back because I don't know which one was like a single wall piece and which one had like an angle on it. So like all of this shell, once it's placed, I really can't go back, which is so great. Oh, I did it. I got a shape. Okay, that's closed. Now I need you and you to get over there somehow. Look, I know this looks ridiculous, but I'm already kind of visualizing. What if this was like a walk-in closet and those are doors? that are like kind of open, but not doors at all. It's an illusion. I also can't delete any of the interior walls on this one or add any other ones. Oh my God, this is actually really hard. And the realizations just keep coming. Okay, let's think about this strategically then. Where's the front of this thing? This is the front. This is the basement. We can do walk-in foyer, living room, hallway, kitchen and dining. Maybe that's a bathroom. Upstairs, we can do a bedroom, but downstairs, I wanna do like a mermaid inspired bedroom. I think that would be really pretty with the walk-in closet. That's a whole, the whole level will be a bedroom. So you, where do you belong? I wonder if I like put it in there, if I could do like a pantry back there or like some storage or something. It's gonna be a lot of like walls disguised as doors, which is actually a really cool technique, if you will. This is the final piece. Okay, where do you belong? What if I had it just kind of like sticking off of my house or like at the front of it? I'm trying to see if I could make the door kind of open like that at the front, like this. I think we're onto something. All right, I'm gonna make this into a final room, put it in the basement.
basement and then we can get started on making this look good. On with you. To the basement you go. Oh God, okay. I hate basement. Oh, there we go. Get the grid on. Okay, hot tip. You need the grid for the basement to work. All right, we're in business, baby. Let's go downstairs. There you go. All right, everything is sorted out for the functionality of the inside. So this little thing, which I said maybe could be a pantry is where my ladder is gonna hide. So like you won't see it when you're just doing your thing. No one's gonna accidentally fall down there. And then a ladder leading up to this bedroom is gonna be a ladder build. I think it's gonna be the best option for us. Let's get started on the outside. I'm really excited to start with these doors. So window there, window there. I think that's like how it's supposed to be with a spandrel and like kind of open like that. The idea here is that that would like fold closed. It's gonna mess with my lighting on the inside, but maybe I can just make it mess with like this room here and then the rest will be closed off and it won't be affected. Normally I would kind of just like go like this, but I'm not able to add any more walls. So there we go. We're gonna roll with that. I think we should roof this. I think I'm gonna go like a modern beach home sort of style thing. I think I have to at this point because of the route that I'm already going. Modern mermaid. That's our aesthetic today. I think this is gonna end up being one of those like aesthetics that you didn't know you needed, but once we see it, we're gonna fall in love. We're gonna be obsessed. To no surprise, I'm dealing with issues with my diagonal roofing. Not a lot, but a little bit. Maybe we can make some sort of overhang back here. It's sort of simple, but it's cute. I can see it so far. Let's get some windows. I wanna get like a nice big back door, so I'm using spa day in the back. Wait, I don't have like anything going on and I'm kind of falling in love with this house already. Okay, think modern mermaid. Modern mermaid vibes. That's not the vibe. <laughs> Looks cute, but no. I just realized this whole time I've been talking about putting that basement underwater and I haven't freaking done it yet. So let's do that. I'm not done with my house yet, but <laughs> I'm like starting to do the landscaping and I realized I forgot about the basement. Oh God, okay. So pool tool. Actually, before we do that, let's go and get all of these windows on here because I want to be able to see through from the bedroom to the water and vice versa. So windows all around, at least for like this room, maybe I won't put it in the closet, but like at least in some spots. And then we have to go back upstairs and this is where we're gonna do our pool. And I need to make sure I'm going up to it, but not deleting any of the walls. So this might take a little bit of um, me adjusting for a while. I'm basically just gonna be using the custom pool tool and like attaching it on there basically. Okay, so the water is done. I'm debating putting coral in there because I think that would look really, really nice from the basement. Okay, you convinced me I'm doing the coral. I don't know if anyone actually wants it, but here it comes and that looks like alien hands coming through my floor. Look at our house. It looks so freaking cute with this lighting. It's completely done. The landscaping is finished. Look at that moon back there. Like, are you kidding me? The coral is done on the inside of the pool. It's gonna look really good when we go downstairs and do our bedroom. And then around the back, what I did is I made this little patio area. It looks so freaking cool with the lighting. I can't get over it. These are from Snowy Escape. These big like parasol things. I thought they looked kind of nice and I've never used that swatch. I also did this island area, which I thought it would be so cool if I could have like that window open and you could like serve food out from the kitchen because that's where the kitchen will be. I considered like opening it up with like a half wall, but I didn't want to completely wreck the lighting in this whole build. So there she is. She's done. Now we have to work on the inside, which to be honest, I think is going to be just as cute. I'm very excited to, to tackle the inside. So let's go in. I've already put some flooring from Jungle Adventure. I think we'll probably open this up with some archways and my freaking bathroom. I'm kind of mad that it's at the front of my house, but it's going to be okay. For my inside, I'm trying to make it look very coastal. We're going to try and aim for a nautical theme. It is pretty weird that this is just like wide open. Like you can walk right on in, but hey, maybe we really trust our neighbors. You know how you can lock doors for other sins? Can you lock an archway? I am genuinely asking. For our hallway, I'm just going to put one little fitness stuff rug and a table. We can put this little bag right underneath our table like we're ready to go to the beach. We'll get our sunscreen and then our living room is going to be done. Our hallway table is also probably done. Let's do our bathroom. Let's get the bathroom out of the way. I think I might cover it with like bamboo or something. Like if I could get something big enough to cover that whole thing and then if I can still fit everything that I need, I'll consider that a win. Okay, so there's the tub. Oh, we can totally do this. All right, there's our toilet and then we'll get our sink right here. I mean, that works for me. You're not going to be able to see anything. Well, you kind of can, but oh, you totally can. <laughs> it's totally fine. Your sims will not get the embarrassed mood lit because they don't understand windows. It's actually perfect that the spa day door is like right in that hallway. I really like how that looks even from the outside. So kitchen, I think I'm gonna do all of my appliances like over in that corner. Oh, there's so much room in here. This is nice. I'm used to lately like doing those crazy shell challenges, like having no room for my interiors. So this is kind of a nice little treat here. I think I might do a mirror behind. I put those cabinets up right above my oven there and that can be like our backsplash behind there. That 
That looks so cute. So there's our kitchen. I need a trash can, which I can probably put over in like this corner here. Or we put it in the back and this is where we do our storage. I put a little table there for just like dishes or something. And now we have room for our dining table. I think I actually have a decent amount of room for this. Actually there, that looks really good. I've got my dining table right here. I moved this over to that side and then I could do like shelving or something, a little extra storage and properly spaced. I feel like it's been a while since we've got one of these builds. Let's go do the guest bedroom before we go downstairs and do the mermaid bedroom. I don't think I'm gonna go too crazy in here since we are doing just a guest bedroom. So we'll get like a dresser that I'll put over there and we can get some cute curtains. We'll add a mirror and I'm gonna use these here from Parenthood. Last time I used these curtains, you guys asked me where they were from a lot in the comments. There they are. They're kind of like sheer. Oh, that lighting is a lot better. There is our finished guest room. I think it's cute. I love those sheer curtains. They look so beautiful. I think I was like obsessed with them for a long time and then I stopped using them because I was overusing them and now I remembered how much I freaking love them. So let's bring this downstairs. We're gonna do our mermaid bedroom slash closet. I don't know what wallpaper to use. For this here, I wanna do like glass doors leading into this room and leading into that one. And then in here, we can do like a sink and mirrors. I don't think I'm gonna make it a full bathroom. Maybe I will, I haven't really decided, but I'm thinking if we put some of these like right along there and then do a whole mirror wall with some sinks. This is where you could do your makeup or like your hair or something. We'll get some clutter. Okay, there's our bathroom. We're gonna get our bed, which I think is gonna be along this wall here. Whenever I think like mermaid bedroom, I think of this bed. It looks like seashells and scales on there. Oh, let's put that rug under there. That looks cool with the green and the blue. That's from the holiday kit. It's kind of like in these swatches here. I definitely want to do like a seating area over here. I just put some sectionals. It's funny how like some items used to be so much more popular. Like this one here, this mirror. I remember when this was like the thing. And then we got the holy grail, like the freaking jungle adventure one, but let's throw it back today. I need to be careful with my ladder that I don't clutter anything back there because your sims have to like get down and like walk this way. So I don't think I'm gonna put anything over there. Maybe like a hanging plant or something, but I don't want to block that area. Okay, so this is our mermaid bedroom. This, I'm obsessed with this build. Like I'm so happy we decided to go the mermaid route because look how freaking cute. So that's complete. Our little bathroom area is complete as well. And now this area. So what I want to do is get some mirrors and put them all along this part so that all of that is mirror. And then I want to go in and get that little like stand up thing from Get Famous. Oh, I forgot about this mirror. Now I don't know which one I like better. Okay, this one looks a little bit more mature, I think. Like I'm, I'm going for an adult. All right, there we go. Anyway, <laughs> this is what I wanted. That little platform and it fits perfectly in there. You can barely see like where the wall ends. And then these are actually going to be those doors again. So I'm going to use my windows. Back here can be a shoe shelf, which like I know I get it. Mermaids don't have feet, so they don't need shoes, but they do have an alternative form in which they do need shoes. So here we are. <laughs> okay, this is looking so cute. I need to figure out something to put over here, which I haven't used those shelves from Dream Home Decorator yet, like these ones, so we can put this right here. I'm actually gonna put two because like, look how freaking bougie this closet is. And then back here, it just seems like such a small little spot. So I'm just putting a chair and a stool in there and some like shirts. And I think that's gonna be our closet room. Look how freaking cool this is. Like this entire downstairs. I am so unbelievably jealous. I want to be a freaking mermaid living in this house. Okay, so there is the bottom floor. There is the rest of it. I love how on the outside you don't really know like the secret that it holds in the basement. I hope you guys like this challenge. Again, you can upload any build challenge that you have for me under hashtag try me Sid on the gallery. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.